This is a very arbitrary concept. I think for a person to be financially stable from being a barber, they have to make the same or similar money from what they were doing previously. And for me, I track every dollar I've ever made as a barber. Um, and when I decided I was going to jump into the game, I didn't know how much barbers could make. So I had very low expectations and I went to Google. I Googled, you know, what the average barber makes a year. And I could be wrong, but I think it said either 28,000 or 35,000. This was back in 2018 when I did it. And so, you know, 35,000 was the best case scenario is what I thought. And when I did that, I knew that I was going to have to really lock in and make some personal sacrifices for the things that I wanted for my life because I thought the ceiling was somewhere in the 30s. I thought if I was really, really, really dominant in the industry, I might make 50. But still, that wasn't much to live on. So I really had to take an L with my lifestyle. And I thought I was going to have to have two and three jobs. But my main thing was going to be barbering. And so for me, I learned quickly that I was way off with my expectations of what I could be making as a barber within my first like couple months because I was bringing in money like a lot of money and I wasn't even fully booked. Um, and so when I really started to streamline my business and when I really started to get people coming back to me on a regular basis, that only took me about three months before like I really, really, really was turning turning real money, you know, into my, um, from my business. So I would say that would be my answer, but I guess the three month mark was when I realized I really made the right decision and I was really doing my thing. But again, it's an arbitrary term because I think if you come into the game with the expectation that you're going to be a six figure barber, I think if you start with that mentality, man, it might take you because it took me like, I think my third year as a barber was when I made, was the first year I made six figures. <sighs> Excuse me, it's a long day, long day. But yeah, it took me, I want to say year three was the first year I made six figures after being, as being a barber. But, you know, I don't think I don't think, I think that's a really arbitrary success point. If you think you would be, if you think you're only successful, if you make six figures, what if you made $98,000? Are you not successful? You didn't make six figures. $98,000 is five figures. If, if, if you think comfort is in the status of, of being a six figure earner, then, you know, good luck with that. But you can be a very sustainable barber making 70 or $80,000 a year if you're living within your means. I will say this in closing. One thing I learned about money when I started really making money is that your habits do not change when you start making more money. Like when I was really broke and I wasn't doing really, and I wasn't doing really well, I was living check to check. And then when I became a barber and I started making a ton of money, I was still living check to check because my mentality about money hadn't changed. My habits surrounding money hadn't changed and my attitude just, you know, it was the same. So I would say you can be sustainable way earlier than you or financially stable, I should say, way earlier than you think. You just got to lock in and focus on what your priorities are. And, and what your goals are. And then from there, you can go anywhere. Um, but that's why I say this is an arbitrary concept. Follow for more. Give me your feedback on this topic. When do you think you became financially stable as a barber? Have you not reached that point yet? How long have you been in the game? Like flood my comment section with your with your take on this topic. And follow for more content.